Good morning. Welcome to In Focus. Today we have with us Craig Cook, one of our captains on our wrestling team. Welcome, Craig. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited to have you, as I am all my In Focus people here. But let's talk about you. You are wrestling currently at 132 on our wrestling team. And quite frankly, you have a very good season record at the moment. You are 17 and 1. Mm -hmm. Now, career wise, you are 82 wins and what is it? 15 losses? Yes. That's pretty phenomenal. I understand one of your goals this year is to reach 100 wins. Do you think you'll do it? Yeah, I hope so. I think Take it on, one match at a time. One match at a time. And I think you're really on track to make that happen. Let's talk about some of your accomplishments. Now, that's quite impressive. Not only have you been a captain for our wrestling team since your sophomore year, but you also are a two-time district finalist, two-time region placer, and you've been down to Atlantic City for the big state tournament. This is extremely impressive. Yeah, um, not many of our athletes have come through and have this many accolades so early. So let's talk about when you started. How did you become a wrestler? What, what led you to wrestling? Well, um, honestly, this is my parents told me to try it out sixth grade and uh, I gave it a shot and I never looked back since. So do you come from a family of wrestlers? Did you have family that wrestled in your No, I'm the history? first one. You're the first one. Yep. It's a big stretch to just all of a sudden jump into wrestling. Sometimes yeah. most wrestlers come from a family of wrestlers, a history. Um, now, I understand you actually played other sports before sixth grade. You were involved in many other things. Can yeah. you run down some of the things you were involved in? Yeah, like in? I played football all throughout middle school, hockey, baseball, mm -hmm. all those sports. Now mm -hmm. touch upon the MMA. I understand you were in an MMA club of sorts yeah. as a little kid. I just think of Hunger Games. I don't understand. But I'm sure it has led to some of the moves and your ability yeah. on the wrestling mat. Tell me about this MMA time. Yeah, I think MMA taught me a lot of things. It taught me like self-defense and like mentally tough, how, how to be mentally tough and stuff. And I think that transferred a lot over to wrestling. And mm -hmm. I think I, that, that kind of helped me a lot. Yeah, when I, when I read that about you, it surprised me because quite frankly, a lot of little kids will do karate. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you know, you're learning respect and respect yeah. of your body and respect of your opponents and such. But when you say MMA, I'm immediately like, oh my God, cage fighting. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is where I go. Um, so it's impressive to think that you've been really working your skills for so long and yeah. you've transferred into wrestling and now you are becoming what you're becoming. Um, let's talk about how your weight classes have changed. Starting your freshman year, you were weight class 106 and now you're 132. That's quite a jump. Yeah. Talk to me about this weight certification process. Like, How, do you, how are you able to jump that weight class? How are you healthy? Talk to me about this, this certification process. Well, before the season, we have to take this test called a hydration test, and uh, it allows wrestlers to be healthy, and uh, you can't go below 7% body fat, and you mm -hmm. have to be hydrated for the test. It's a great thing that they've actually put these parameters in place. Back when I was young and my brothers wrestled, it was not a healthy way to lose weight, and uh, it's fair, you're very fortunate that they've put these parameters mm -hmm. in place. It's a good thing. Let's talk about this weight jump. Um, you have to be stronger and quicker now, yeah. correct? How did you gain the weight to get to 132? What did you do? Yeah, um, I just didn't fight my body back. Mm -hmm. I just let it, I allowed it to grow. Uh, lifted a lot in the summer. Uh, and I like I went to the doctors a couple days ago and I and it said from freshman year to junior year I grew six inches. So I can't fight it back and it just... This is a common thing for boys, especially through the high school years. Yeah. You see them shoot up. As a teacher, I see them shoot up. I see them sick as eighth graders, ninth graders, and then all of a sudden I see them in their senior year, and I'm like, how the heck did you get up there? Um, so it's, you definitely are going to hit these growth spurts. It's good yeah. that you're not fighting the yep. spurt, and you're actually letting your body gain the weight it needs to gain. Yep. I'm sure it's helped you on the mat being at a weight that's manageable, and you can be the strength that you can be. Um, Let's talk a little bit about how you maintain your weight. You are 132 and you have to maintain it. When you step on the scale before every match, you have to be 132. Yeah. Um, how do you maintain it through the season? Some people fluctuate. How do you? I eat pretty healthy. Work that out. Yeah, not too strict of a diet, but I have to be mindful of like, what I eat. Mm -hmm. So like a lot of lean protein, like chicken and lots of water. Can't put any bad things in your body. Now, are you strictly water, or do you try to like ice tea it up or add some <laughs> Gatorade in it? Sometimes, when I don't have to make weight, a couple mm -hmm. times I'll have like different things to drink. But like, I try to primarily have water most of the time. That's smart. That's smart. Now, let's talk about wrestling up. Sometimes your coach needs you to wrestle up in order to benefit the team. This has got to be a challenge for you because then you're wrestling someone heavier, which requires some mental preparedness. Mm -hmm. So, how do you manage that? 
well, to me, it doesn't change. Mm -hmm. If the coach tells me to go up, I'm mentally prepared the same way as I were to wrestle my weight or the weight above. Mm -hmm. Whatever the coach tells me to do, I go out and do it. That's awesome. Now, you wrestle all year. Yeah. For different clubs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this, I'm sure, it helps you keep fresh and keep quickness on the mat. I hear you're very fast. Yeah. Which leads me to some of your favorite moves, okay? Like, what are you doing in practice? Are there drills in practice that you really appreciate and work hard at to make even better in the live situation? Yeah, like uh, me and uh, another wrestler, Mike Lamone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this who's doing pretty well this year, too. We, uh, we go live a lot in practice, and I think that helps us uh, figure, like, stuff out and helps us get a lot better too. Now, he's much heavier than you are, yeah. so that's gonna definitely help that mental and pushing that weight around. And I'm sure yeah. him wrestling lighter class, he's gotta work with your quickness, your yep. speed on the mat. That's, a, that's exactly. impressive. Um, I'm sure that's really helpful. Now, when you're actually in a match, do you have a favorite move? What's your move, your go-to? I know I'm gonna throw this and it's gonna work. Yeah, like on my feet, I like the because I'm not like the biggest, strongest guy at 132. I'm not gonna out muscle everyone. Mm -hmm. So I like going outside single, use my speed. Okay. Uh, a single leg takedown. Yeah, single leg takedown. And uh, <laughs> on top, I like to throw like a cross face cradle. Okay. Yeah, it moves when you basically get in, it's pretty hard to get out. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're gripping, you're, you're locked up yeah. in the cradle. Okay, now you're a three sport athlete here in our district. In the springtime, you, uh, I'm sorry, in the fall, let's start at mm -hmm. the beginning. In the fall, what is it that you do? Uh, I run cross country for the school. For the school. Now, mm -hmm. are you competitively running? Are you working on, to lower your times? Are you doing it to maintain a weight, to keep yeah. healthy? What's your purpose for doing cross country? Well, start out, I did it so I could keep my weight down for wrestling, mm -hmm. get me in better shape, get my cardio up. Yes. Mm -hmm. So That's it's smart. helped a lot. That's smart. And then winter, of course, you're one of our top wrestlers. And what about in the spring? What do you do in the spring? In the spring, I played uh, baseball for the past uh, freshman and sophomore year. Okay, what position? Uh, second base and uh, outfield. Okay, okay, and is that your plan for this year? Uh, we'll see. We'll see? Yeah, might either want to do baseball or track, but we'll figure it out. Okay, I like it. You'll, you'll do what you, is best for you, I'm yep. sure. Um, let's talk about your future. Yeah. All right, not only is one of your plans and your goals to reach 100 wins, but what else are your plans for the future? Talk to me about what you want to do. Oh uh, Well, for this year, I uh, want to win a district title. Nice. I came nice. second freshman and sophomore year, so I, try, I want to try to get this one this year um, and make it back down to Atlantic City. I bet you that's an, an impressive venue yeah. to be wrestling in. It's the convention center down there, is my understanding, it's or a a boardwalk hall? Boardwalk hall. Boardwalk hall. Yeah, it's great. It's definitely great. Mm -hmm. I remember going down there um, to see my brothers wrestle, and it was always crowded yeah. and very exciting. Yep. Um, that's. I hope you get there again. Yeah, thank it's you. It's awesome that you were there once already. I really hope you get there there, and I hope you take the district. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Um, and that 100 wins, I know it's going to happen. Yeah. I know it's going to happen. Do you have plans to wrestle in college? Is that a hope? Yes, it is a hope. I, I want to wrestle in college. Yep. Awesome. Are you starting the recruiting process? You're a junior. It's a pretty yeah, important year. Yeah. We, uh, me and my parents, we uh, have like a profile on this website, NCSA, mm -hmm. and uh, we send emails to coaches, and we have our highlight video on there and stuff like that, so we can. That's great. I know we tape the matches, so yeah. are you taking from high? Um, Some, mm -hmm. what, what is the program we use is? Huddle. Huddle, that's yeah. it. And I know that you can pull your specific match. I'm sure that yeah. is helpful for your highlight reel. Yeah, definitely. That's great. Um, let's get to your everyday questions. What favorite music? I mean, let, hold up, let's back up. <laughs> Wrestlers often have rituals before you get on the mat. I'm sure you listen to music. What what music are you listening to? <laughs> to me, I, uh, before a match, I like to listen to stuff that's like fast, like get my mind right. Like mm -hmm. I like to listen to like Kendrick Lamar, okay. uh, Eminem, okay. Biggie Small sometimes. <laughs> so I like listening to like old school and like some new stuff too. I, I bet, I bet. Now, part of the ritual that I see when I watch, and I remember my brothers, they used to have to hit their thighs a certain number of times, hit their head, their headgear. Do you have any rituals like that that you have to do, or jump rope? No, I don't have any, honestly. No, just no, mentally just focus in. Mentally, just have a game plan of what I'm gonna do out there when I get on the mat. Okay, okay, let's get to your favorite, let's go ice cream. Okay, uh, vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream, rumor has it, you get a milkshake after every match. Yeah, try to, every match, uh, always, 
ask my mom, can you pick me up a milkshake at Chick-fil-A all the time? Okay, and it's yeah. got to be vanilla? Yeah, vanilla You don't like that peach time. one or the Oreo? Nope, nope just, just vanilla. straight vanilla. Yeah. Okay. If you're at home or at a restaurant and you get vanilla ice cream, are you going to put sprinkles on it or yeah. hot fudge or what yeah, do you I'll put on it? Yeah, I'll put sprinkles on it. That's basically, I don't really like, like fudge or anything like that. Okay, yeah. just sprinkles? Yeah. I personally don't like sprinkles. <laughs> Some people call them jimmies. I don't know that. Sprinkles, little wax. That's yeah. what I call them. <laughs> well, Craig, I'm really excited to have you here. I'm looking forward to your future. I think your season's going to be even more successful as it keeps going. And thank you for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me. You got it.